Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, this brand new video, A Flaming Guitar, and I'm going to be adding a few fun colors other than just the blue and the orange and yellow today. So at the end you'll see all those fun colors that I add. And keep in mind you can use any colors that you want for your flaming guitar. We're working on a 12 by 16 black primed canvas. I've got a number four flat brush and I'm just going to freehand this very loosely and simply. This is doable for all skill levels. Doesn't matter if your guitar is perfectly straight. This is one of those paintings that you can really easily get away with little imperfections because we've got all the flames and the smoke going around so you can use that to your advantage and uh, really kind of just camouflage um, and distract from any imperfections that you have with your, your guitar. So we're doing this in black and white first and then uh, it's a lot simpler to do this and approach the painting this way. Um, that way, once it dries, you can come over with any colors that you want. I used uh, a lot of different colors today for mine. It started out just being yellow um, and orange and blue. And then I decided to add some turquoise yellow, another shade of blue, and my beautiful luminous neon rose. So I'm just going to really, really loosely, like I said, freehand this. It's not perfectly straight. Doesn't matter. I'm going to hide all the little edges there and just throw in some flames in and around any areas that I'm not completely happy with. And of course, it's just my personal preference and my style of painting. You can approach this however you guys like. You can measure it out or trace it first or, or sketch it out first. Um, but I'm just going to come in here with some more white where I want it to be the brightest, I'm gonna use full on titanium white. And then where I want it to be a little bit more faded and smoky like, I'm gonna just scumble a little bit of paint out of my brush. I'm gonna start coming in with the little bars on the neck of the guitar and I'm just tap, tap, tapping, leaving um, spaces at the top and then getting tighter and closer together as they get further down towards the rest of the guitar. And I'm gonna continue building up, outlining that neck in white. I want this to really glow. I wanna create that glow, that fiery, flamey glow in and around the guitar and then coming from um, the inside of the guitar too when we add this the circle that opening a little bit later on so you can see what I'm doing here if you really look carefully and closely at my fingers I'm kind of twisting and rolling quickly this is not sped up at all this is real time and you're going to travel with your brush while you're twisting and twirling and flicking just try and um, practice beforehand if you're not completely um, sure or confident with how to paint flames. Uh, the best advice I have is to feel really free and loose and try to stay away from being really, really tight with your flames. Otherwise, it's going to look a little bit overworked and it's you're going to lose that movement and that um, loose feeling that you get. So I'm going to come around and start outlining, again, still just freehand the the outline of this guitar and as I'm doing that I'm going to pull out and use the rest of the paint to create the the bits of flames all around so I'm going to be continuing to do this for a little bit here guys and then I'm going to come in with some more flames over on the right side and that's where we're going to have a lot more going on there's a lot more room over there and we're going to just have this feeling of those flames just pulling over and uh, right over to the right there. And we're gonna be using a lot of awesome colors today. You guys know that I love color. Um, but yeah, it's really, really easy to start coming in and approaching a painting um, that has a lot of lines and a lot of patterns first in black and white. Now, if, I know you guys are gonna ask me if you can do this on a white canvas. Yes, you can, but you're gonna end up using a lot of black anyway, so it might just be easier to just paint over. You don't have to buy a black canvas already, but you can. They definitely sell black uh, primed canvases or gessoed canvases at the store. But you know, it, what I do and what I did in this case was just take some black paint, just craft paint, and I covered up a canvas, just a white canvas, a brand new one. And there you go, it's primed and um, I didn't spend a lot of time or a lot of money because it's just like that craft paint that you get. And you know, it really makes a great coverage. So quick and easy, and it makes for a wonderful underpainting, especially for a grayscale like this or black and white. 
So I'm pulling over, you can see with my brush, using more and more of the titanium white as I get closer to the edge of the guitar. That's where I want it to be the brightest. And then we'll have a few flames in there, larger ones that are gonna be really, really bright. But um, note that as we get out towards the end of the canvas, it's gonna be a little bit darker and uh, deeper in color. So I'm gonna be going towards using a little bit of black with red, or you can use uh, a really deep maroon color or um, something kind of just more toned down. And that will give us that illusion that it's kind of going um, out and it's dark around the edges. Um, or you can just add a little bit of black over your colors later on and kind of fade into it that way. There's a few different ways to approach that. Um, but here right underneath, so I've got this little bit of white here and I'm just using kind of the tip of my brush when I want to make those little tiny flames that are starting to come up and, and over top and rise up in front of the guitar here. And I love this effect. I love how you can instantly build up this amazing contrast and detail by working on a black canvas and using white paint. And I always use titanium white in my tutorials and in paintings in general, just because I love how bright it is. And I can tone it or tint it uh, with anything I want to maybe if I need to make like more of an ivory white or an off white, I can just use um, a little bit of peach or yellow ochre. So it's really versatile. And again, I, I love creating colors and using lots of colors. And I find titanium white makes the prettiest uh, pastel tones that in combination with my neon colors. So that brings me to some of the other colors uh, that we're going to be using today. I've got neon yellow warm, neon orange. I'm going to be using a little bit of neon rose and also neon red. Uh, I'll have a full list in the description below this video. I use Holbein um, neon paints. Um, their light fastness is amazing. So that means that they hold up over years and years. They're not, neons have a tendency to fade over time. Um, so the, the Holbein um, is great. I've got paintings from years ago that I painted with the Holbein neons and they're still they're still bright like I just uh, applied them so they're expensive but they're definitely worth it and you don't need a lot you just need a little bit a little goes a long way because they're really really good quality and uh, the colors are amazing and they they again make beautiful pastels with titanium white we're also going to be using um, some lemon yellow because I'm actually all out of my neon yellow cool <laughs> so lemon yellow um, is a nice one I mix that with a little bit of white to get my brightest absolute brightest um, uh, yellowy uh, white color the the brightest pop uh, and highlight behind the guitar and I'm also going to be using some ultramarine blue and phthalo blue. Now, if you don't have ultramarine blue, you can use cobalt blue. It's really, really similar. And uh, I'm kind of creating almost like a rainbow, I guess you could say. So it goes from yellow to orange to red. And then we've got it going over to um, the turquoise and the phthalo and the blue and then the purple with that pop of luminous rose so it's kind of fun uh, i don't know if you guys ever uh, did this as a kid when you went camping you can get those little packets that you throw on your little campfire and it makes uh, the flames rainbow so that's kind of what i was thinking about when i was doing this there's a lot of um, photos out there of flaming guitars and i wanted to just kind of play up on the colors um, you know, because I enjoy, I really enjoy doing that. And so that's what I did here today. Um, so I'm just kind of chatting away through this, guys, because this is uh, pretty much the same. It's all the same technique and brush strokes that I described earlier when I first began this. So just the twisting, pulling, uh, and rolling of the brush, more white, where you want it to be the brightest, and where you want it to be a little bit softer and um, thinner and more of like a light gray, then you're going to use way less paint and possibly a little bit of water, but just use the tiniest bit of water. You definitely don't want to have any drips anywhere. Um, I always have a little towel on hand just to make sure that I get uh, the excess water out of my brush. And it's a lot easier to come in and add a little bit more than to go and take it off because you're going to be left with water spots and 
you're gonna kind of ruin that underpainting there so just be mindful when you're adding water um, I do have a few videos videos um, out quite new on how to um, work with acrylics blend color mixing and brush techniques so I'll try to remember to leave links below in the description for you guys and if I forget I am pretty forgetful sorry about that if I happen to forget just look through my playlist or on my channel and uh, you can find them there so I'm coming in with a circle now with white and then I'm gonna add a little bit um, patchy areas here of more white to make it look like the flames are coming out and joining in with the rest and uh, what I want to do is continue adding little bits of flames all around but I'm gonna come back to that circle there with a filbert brush and give it a little bit more of an outline uh, with some black and define that just a little bit more um, and just keep working away at this take your time I want you guys to have fun with this and, and enjoy it I mean it's so much fun to create all these flames once you get the hang of it and start to just let go with your brush and feel uh, a lot more loose and free you're really gonna love painting flames and something fun that you can add to a lot of different um, types of paintings of course you can paint a campfire and I do have um, I've got a tutorial for a campfire I'll try to remember to leave a link below for that but I was gonna say I'm gonna be doing a brand new one I haven't done one in a long time and um, this kind of sparked that uh, new love of painting flames and fires today while I was doing this so I'm going to be having a, a new um, campfire uh, night sky tutorial coming up soon so make sure if you guys make sure you're subscribed to my channel and tap the bell so you get notified and you, and you won't miss any of my uh, videos so I'm adding a reflection down here below um, just making those little ripples tight lines close together um, and then I'm pulling down and flicking so this is the same way you would paint water and in fact this could be water down here I'm not sure it's either water or it's a reflection on uh, a shiny uh, floor or table or something but it's the same technique as how I show you guys how to paint water so you're gonna go side to side and then you're gonna pull and flick down so you've got uh, brush strokes going in both directions now with a round brush and you can also use a little liner brush if you want for this I'm gonna do uh, the little uh, I don't know what they're called um, I can't I can't think of it. it's on the tip of my tongue but anyways I'm gonna do six these hold the strings and the the guitar tuners on the side sorry guys I don't know the guitar terminology but I'm adding uh, three on each side and then I'm going to start coming down and every other every other space there every other square I guess you could say I'm just going to add a little dot and then as they get lower down towards the center of the guitar I'm going to make them lighter and lighter and they kind of just fade away and like I said earlier if there's anything that you're really not 100% confident about in your painting cover it up with flames and and smoke but you're really only after a, a feeling, a suggestion of a guitar on fire with all these beautiful colors. So please don't stress about it. Don't get frustrated. And if you're really, really, you know, stuck on something and you need my help, um, you can ask me over on Patreon. Um, that's just one of my little perks of becoming a patron and helping to support my videos and contribute to all the, the videos that I make for you guys. Um, so if you're a patron, go ahead and send me a message and I'll work one on one with you and help um, troubleshoot whatever it is that you're having problems with. OK, so I'll leave a link below for that. And I'm going to use this brown brush as well to help create a little bit more flame shapes here and all that flow and movement the layering is really important because that helps to create all the different layers that you're going to have in different depths of smoke and flames and eventually all the colors in the end so I'm just going to finish up this this part here and then I will make sure that I dry this off I left that out of the video but just take two seconds to dry your painting off um, acrylic paint dries awfully fast though so you might not even need to use a hair dryer uh, it's a little bit cooler in my studio today so the paint wasn't drying as quickly 
So I'll just add a few more details here before I dry this off and then I'm going to start coming in with all my colors. Okay, so for the guitar strings, I'm just using one of my even tail uh, brushes. It's like a little rake brush, but it's in the shape of a filbert. And to get this done quickly, I decided to use this brush rather than try to do one guitar string at a time. It would be really difficult. Um, it's a little bit tricky even doing this. So if you're out for perfectly straight strings on your guitar, uh, you'll probably want to take a little bit longer than I did. It, it's not important to me. Uh, I, I like overall how this looks, even though it's not perfect. It's more about the flames and colors and shape. So that's all I used with a little bit of white and then just outlining here a little bit of black and then adding little dabs of black and white in between down at the bottom. All right, guys, so here are the colors. I've got my titanium white and my neon yellow warm. I'm going to begin with, so I'm adding both of those colors to make a really nice bright golden yellow here. And I'm going to start to add this very lightly and carefully first. And then I'm going to get a little bit more bold and loose with um, the saturation. So I'm going to be using uh, less white and more of the just full on neon yellow warm. I'm going to add this all around the right side and then I'm going to come in with my neon orange. Now I'm going to add a little bit to the reflection. Every time I add a color, I'm going to add that below in the reflection. And keep in mind, if you don't have these neon colors I'm using today, don't worry at all. Just use the brightest yellows, oranges, reds that you have. You can even use a little bit of pink here and there. Uh, just be creative. There's lots of variations of yellow, orange, and red that you can use today. Okay, guys? So don't let that uh, ever prevent you from painting along with me. I'm going to add just a little bit more here and then I'm going to come into, oh, and don't forget about the little circle, the opening there of the guitar and a little bit in front. Without washing my brush off, I'm going to go right into my beautiful neon orange. I love this orange so, so much and it looks really beautiful with purple and blue as well. Um, so this is going on kind of just a little bit over top of some of that uh, yellow and more towards the outer edges there down by the neck and at the top of the guitar and now i'm going to just scumble lightly over part of the black background and some of those softer tones and little bits of smoke there i'm going to come in and overlap some of the neon yellow and some of the white so i've got a little bit of both going on you're going to layer over and then you're just going to go um, around and sort of outline. This will give you so many different um, tones and hues and strengths and subtleties of uh, colors and shades. Okay guys, so it's really important to make your painting not look flat and it will help it look more 3D. So I'm going to continue all around the front of the guitar and then the other and then I'm going to also add this in the reflection. You don't want to forget about the reflection below. I will be washing my brush off before I begin the blue on the left side.
Okay guys, so I'm alternating between a few different colors here as you can see. I've got also got some neon red there. Um, it wasn't actually that necessary though. It's really, really similar to this neon orange. Um, so you don't have to use a neon red. It's just something a little bit extra. Um, but I'm going to be coming in here with a little bit of black just to add a little bit more depth and contrast in between some of those flames because it's all a little bit um, uh, bright in there and I feel like I, we need a little, just a little bit more shadow and contrast. So that's what I'm going to do. Come in with a little bit of white first and now with a clean brush, come in with a little bit of black and then I'll be kind of softening that and um, getting everything to look like it's a little bit more blended in there because right now it looks just a little bit funny. It's kind of standing out. So just with some orange, I'm going over part of the black. So now the black is uh, looks more like a, a burnt sienna. So I'm beginning with my ultramarine blue now with a clean brush and I'm gonna make sure that I go over my reflections in the water and all around the left side and then you'll see I start to come in with a uh, phthalo blue a little bit of that beautiful luminous rose which I love I think my favorite color that I used today and my favorite part of painting this today was when I used the luminous rose over top of that blue it just makes the most gorgeous purple color it really is like electric the color is gorgeous you'll see here look at that and yeah, it's just a really rich, beautiful color. Um, these paints are really nice too because they leave a texture, like it almost looks like velvet, like you're painting on velvet or something. It's just a really, really nice velvety, chalky, kind of matte finish quality to these paints that I like. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit of blue on the left side of the circle inside the guitar there. And I'll be toning that a little bit. I'll, you'll see me play around with that, sometimes adding a little bit more white. And then sometimes I'll add, uh, at one point I add a little bit of the Luminous Rose. That's towards the end. And then I kind of um, soften that off just a little bit. But I'm gonna come in and around just the outside of where it's the brightest. So you wanna make sure you keep it the brightest to have that glow uh, right on the edge of the guitar. So I'm getting close to it, but I'm leaving it nice and bright. And that's with the ultramarine blue. Now I've got phthalo blue, which is totally different. And this is going to start to ease into that turquoise. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm easing into it. I'm gradiating sort of. So I'm going from the ultramarine blue to the phthalo blue. And then I'm going to be adding that turquoise as I get closer and closer to... Um, the guitar, the little edge of the guitar, but I'm all, always going to keep it the brightest. So I'm coming back in now with a little bit of white. Uh, acrylic paint always dries a little bit darker, so it's it's definitely normal for that to happen, guys. And don't get frustrated. Just just know that that's uh, inevitable, and you'll have to go and add, especially when you're working on a black canvas. You're you're going to need uh, more white um, to balance out that that black. But you see, I get really close into that neon yellow. And then I take a little bit of white, phthalo, neon yellow, and I go over here to try and make a bit of a green color. And it is a green shade, but it's not quite the green I want. So that's when I go into the turquoise and I really start to have fun with this and, and just create all those colors of the rainbow. So you'll see me go back to the right side and adjust and add a, f a few more flames here with my neon red and neon orange and uh, just just want to have a little bit more of separation in there and light and dark. So that's all I'm doing, guys. And um, creating more flames really, really close to that bright, bright yellow. Going around with my orange and red again over top of some of the black. I want it to gradually go uh, light to dark. And acrylics are so forgiving because you can layer as much as you want. Um, the acrylic dries fast, enabling you to be able to do that. But if you want your acrylics to stay wet and you don't want them to dry so fast, if you're a painter that, that likes to take a lot of time, then there are mediums that you can add to help slow down the drying process. Um, you can get um, acrylics that act like oils. 
I like the drying aspect, how quick it is, so it works well for me, but every painter is different. But if you guys have any questions um, about uh, anything in general to do with this painting today or acrylic paints, uh, if I don't answer them in the, the videos I've got out for acrylic painting and tips and techniques, then just leave a question below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I'm pretty good with answering everybody here. Um, but so I'm going to work up into my turquoise here next. You can see I add a little bit more of that luminous rose coming in with an, another layer of uh, white here. Make sure that I have that pop of highlights always and it's not going to fade as it dries. Okay, it's time to come in with a clean brush and my turquoise and I'm going to take a little bit of white and make a soft minty color first. I want to gradually kind of have this transition of blue to yellow to orange, make it look kind of more like a rainbow. So I'm going to do this turquoise, light, light turquoise first and add that all around the left side, little bits here and there. Just it, by doing this, it really makes all the colors kind of harmonize together everything looks really pretty together and um yeah so carry through with the bottom for the reflection get those little ripples in there so adding a little bit more turquoise here and there just before i come in with my final color and my final color is going to be this beautiful lemon yellow look at that so i cleaned my brush first and i'm going to take lemon yellow titanium white and add my final highlights for this painting today first on this side with the orange and the red sometimes you can use more yellow if you want and sometimes where you want it to be the brightest you're going to use um, more white with it so you're really just tinting your white with a little bit of that yellow and then right in here for that nice transition of purple to blue to turquoise then to yellow to orange and ultimately to red. And then we've got that rose, a little hint of that luminous rose on either side. So as I finish up this painting, just by adding this final glow in around the left side here, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know if you enjoyed watching this and if you wanna paint along, be sure to share your version of this up on my Facebook group. I'll leave a link below for that as well. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and helping to support my videos. I'll see you guys all soon next time. Bye.